Hello students. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a cool pie chart. So let's get started. Once your file is open, uh, you want to enter this information in. And you uh, can put whatever values that you want in there and you can change them at any time just to see how your pie chart looks. So let's get started with the actual creation of the chart. So I'm going to go to step one. I'm going to highlight this information. Step two, I'm going to go to the insert tab. Step three, I'm going to go to the charts group and look for uh, the pie chart command button and it tells you what that is if you move your if you hover your mouse pointer on top of it It's used to show proportions to a whole so that's going to be step three. I'm going to click the drop down I'm going to go to 3d pie chart and There's my chart um, I can stretch it out from the side from the corners and also from the sides All right, and I'm going to click chart title. I'm going to type in number of pizzas sold hit enter all right and i'm going to go up to format um and again you have all these different options but i'm going to choose uh let's see which is a bunch of them that one looks pretty cool so you have to pick one that you like all right um i think i'll just stick with this black one for now and, and actually yeah i'll stick with the black one for now and i can i can come back to it later on I'm going to move it off to the side. I'm going to go up to the Home tab. I'm going to select, um, where is it, Berlin Sands, because I like that. Uh, I'm going to make this a little larger. I am going to maybe go back to Format, put a little bit of uh, glow in there and see what that looks like. All right, there we go. All right, so here's a chart. At the bottom of the actual uh, pie chart, you'll see a legend, and you'll see... Different, the different slices and little uh, color codes next to each one that correspond to the slices up here. So if you're, for example, if you're looking at green and you want to know what slice that represents, that would be tomato pie. But I don't like it at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go up to this little plus sign here, chart elements. And I'm going to go down to legend. I'm going to go over to this uh, little tab. I'm going to click it and I'm going to move mine to the right. I like it better to the right. Okay, so on the legend, I can do a, a, quite a few things. I could stretch it out, you know, I can move it around, I could put borders around it manually, shape fill, everything, you know, um, text from over here. You can change everything, so you can do all kinds of things and you can have fun with it. But um, I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to select, let me just see, you know, I, I like the purple for now so I'm going to click that right and I could put you know if I wanted to I could put a little shadow in there Let's see pick a shadow so I'll take that one to pick that one I could stretch it out all right now here's the fun part so if I click on the pie uh, what happens if I were to go up to shape fill you'll notice that it's just going to select uh, you know the same color however if I want to change each one of these uh, to a different uh, you know color I have to click on it again so I, let me click off it I'll show you click on it and then click on the slice and then I could go up there and, and change this and do whatever I want however I want to put in uh, an actual uh, picture in, of this uh, the slice of pizza so first thing I want to do is get rid of these white lines so let's do that. Click on here. Go up to uh, Format. Go to Shape Outline. Go to No Outline. All right. Now I'm going to click on this slice right here. Double click it. And I'm going to go up to Shape Fill. Picture. I'm going to go into my file. Hopefully you saved those pictures I sent you. And there's a plain slice. I'm going to insert it. Now that looks pretty cool. Pepperoni. I'll click over here picture browse pepperoni insert the next one's going to be tomato pie I'm going to go up to the shape fill picture browse and I'm just going to um, do the last two you can follow along All right. get these in here and then finally we're going to do mushrooms I don't know about you, but I do not like mushrooms on pizza. 
All right, now, well, that looks cool. So we have our, our slice of, uh, we have our, uh, our pie chart, but there's some things that we can still do to enhance it. All right, so a couple things. Um, I could click on the outside here, and, and I could also, again, put some color in there as well. I can do the same thing if I click on the outside up here. I'm just going to leave this for now. I can, if I click out here, I can also shrink it down. Right. But I want to put labels in there. I want to label this with data labels. So I'm going to go back up to this plus sign here. I'm going to click it, and you'll see data labels. And I'm going to insert these data labels. Um, I can put them on the inside. They're hard to see. I can do what's called a, a call out but that shows you the percentages I want to see the, the number sold so I'm gonna go best fit now if I click on these values all right I can do the same thing I've done before I can you know go, uh, just go in there and play around with uh, the you know the different uh, features and set this up however I want now what's interesting about this is you know watch what I do if I want to pull this to the outside all right you'll see that it kind of creates a little line so um, if if you don't like them in there you could certainly pull them out you can do uh, looks like there's let me see why that's not moving out I guess you have to click on it twice there you go all right so I'm just gonna pull these back in and you could change around uh, this these don't look great I mean but you can mess around with it and you also again can change the fonts can do a bunch of different things you can certainly make them larger all right and I'll put a little border around this chart on the outside so I'd like to do that so I'm gonna go to the shape outline I'm just gonna I don't know let me go to uh, more outline colors I'll just pick a blue pick a, a weight all right, see what that does um, and if I click on here and we go up to shape effects, I can go down to, I mean, I can play around with the bevel a little bit, but I can go down to rotation, select 3D rotation. Oops. Actually, if, in order to do that, I'm going to have to click on this outside shape effects rotation and, um, I'm going to go down to, let me close out these things over here. I'm going to go down to rotation and, you know, you can, that's your X rotation if you want to move it around. And if you want to play around with your uh, uh, Y rotation, you can. There's also perspective, which is really cool if you want, but it, it kind of distorts it a little bit. So I'm just going to leave that uh, where it was. And I'm just going to change the, the Y rotation a little bit. Let's see if I can come up with something I like. Just play around with it and so you find something that you like. And that's pretty much it. All right. I mean, mine, I, I don't know. I'm not really satisfied with the way this came out. But uh, I would obviously still play around with this. But So, you know, take your time and... Uh, Go back and, and work this a little bit and see if you can come up with something really, really cool. All right. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you uh, got something out of this. Okay. Signing off.